I've always been interested in, in the world around me, um, fascinated by political events. My family actually encouraged me to go into dentistry when I was younger. I think immigrant families or migrant families, they have survival in their system, in their DNA. And it was important for them to sort of have economic and social stability, both for themselves and their children. But I couldn't fight who I was. And that was someone who was really motivated by, by justice and, and social justice and outraged by injustice. I pursued law and then I went on to work for various campaigning organisations and be you know, quite politically active. That's kind of culminated me doing my political activism in the Labour Party now. I think the Labour Party is evolving back to its roots of socialism and of collectivism. Um, and it's really, really exciting, I think, for people who have been politically active for years and not necessarily politically active in the Labour Party, but people who've been working on the ground, working within communities where perhaps they are more on the front line, working class communities, communities of colour, disabled folk, on issues such as policing um, and immigration where there has been criticisms, that making sure that they're listening to those criticisms. I was recently talking at a local school in Lewisham and there was a, a panel of experts. Um, and actually the solutions came from the children in, in, the, in the audience and they were predominantly working class black children. And they were saying, for instance, when you're cutting our youth services, when you're cutting our mental health services, when you're cutting local services that allow us spaces to grow and flourish as young people, then we are forced out onto the street. And actually, we also then further feel disempowered when the solutions are given top down and then they don't come from the community. You know, you have some incredible community work happening, um, but the community should not be responsible for having to financially support one another. You know, I think social support, political support can be very empowering within a community, but there needs to be, really frankly, a bigger distribution of wealth in our country. So as a newly elected councillor in Lucian, I am incredibly hopeful and excited about what I can do to contribute to change. Um, I can see change coming and happening already in the way that the Labour Party is moving. I've seen a real mesh of, you know, that, that, that space, that divide, that gap between um, political activism and political institutions become merged. And that's really, really exciting because that's where power really begins to transform for the many and not the few, to use a, a phrase you might have heard. <laughs> <laughs>